we'll all be. Ryan Zimmerman, how you been, Zim? What's up, T? Yeah, man, old Zim here. How you been? Wow, it's been a few years, been a few kids. We were so much cooler back then. What you guys been up to during this quarantine? Nice to get outside and play a little catch. Oh yeah, quarantine catch is the best. Yeah, when we first met, I remember we were both just a couple young bucks, a couple uh, third base prospects, big aspirations. Looks like the weather's nice out there going barefoot, I like it. I haven't really been watching the game much. I know I retired, shoot, uh, five, six years ago. You still playing? Am I still playing? Are you, are you kidding me? Dealt with plantar fasciitis early in the year, and here's one into center. Back at the wall, and it is gone. Zimmerman tees off here in the second inning. It's a two to one ball game, and that was blasted. Also, since you retired, I moved from third base to first base. But, anyways, how's retirement? Mine is definitely, definitely coming soon. And I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm kind of scared. What do you do in retirement? Oh, yeah, cool shirt. Now I remember. World Series, right? That was pretty incredible. You know, I was in spring with you with the Nationals back in 2012. And, you know, then a few short seven years later, you guys win the World Series. Feel free to go into what an impact I had on that World Series championship, having been there seven years ago. And as far as retirement, well, got a lot of time in my hands. Just try to play virtual catch as often as possible. Oh yeah, the Mark Tian 2012 spring training. How could I ever forget that? You were such an instrumental part of this World Series run. Did you not watch the parade at all? You were all over my speech. We had such a cast of characters, you know, much has been made about the Viejos and the young guys and um, Gosh, just the way you kind of went about your business, your work ethic, uh, teaching the young guys how to conduct themselves as professionals. I think, uh, man, the Washington Nationals organization wouldn't have been anywhere without that Mark Tian 2012 spring training. How could I forget that? Man, this virtual catch though, you got something going. Definitely get me ready for a repeat. I appreciate that. You know, since we're sitting here talking shop, two stud baseball players playing catch, normal people don't get to see what what we talk about when we play catch, you know, because when we play catch, we always talk about stuff. Why don't you tell me one of your favorite stories from off the field during your career? It's probably gonna be a funny one because you're a funny guy, but uh, let's give these guys some insight about uh, maybe some of the funny stuff that goes goes on off the field between teammates or coaches or something like that. Give me your best story. Man, what we talk about when we're playing catch. We talk about a lot. We spend a lot of days playing catch. But uh, one good story, uh, it was 2006. It might have been the year we met, but um, 2006, Paul Bacco, who you know I played with every team by that point, veteran, backup catcher, just you know, great dude. So we're in Cincinnati, and I'm, for some reason as a young player, decided Tommy Bahama was my look. So I'm looking like our 50-year-old trainer and just wearing nothing but Tommy Bahama. And then we're in Cincinnati, and I need a haircut. So I walk out of the team hotel, and there's a barbershop connected to the hotel. So I'm like, perfect, I'll do this. The guy I walk in, he's got like a, I don't know, 60-year-old's kind of bowl cut. And I walk in and say, hey, kind of just clean it up, whatever. Well, he ends up giving me his exact haircut. So I'm rocking Time Bahama, wearing a bowl haircut-ish. So I walk in the clubhouse and uh, Paul Bacco just comes up to me and shoots me completely straight. And he says, man, you're a 23, 24 year old, I think second year in the big leagues. You're single, what are you doing? He's like, you've got the worst haircut in the big leagues and the worst fashion of anybody I've ever played with. And he played with a lot of guys. Um, but yeah, just completely laid into me. Thankfully, you know, he got me straightened out. And a couple years later, I met my wife. So 
you know, big respect to Baco, but you know, in the clubhouse, playing catch, just always shooting each other straight. You look like you're getting ready for dinner. You got you got to take off. You got story for one time for one story for me. <laughs> Man, our 60-year-old trainer definitely wears Tommy Bahama clothes. That is brutal. What were you thinking? Also, I don't know if you could tell, this might be the longest game of catch I've ever played in my uh, my 16-year career. When we started, the sun was high up in the sky, and now the sun is about to set. Completely regretting my barefoot choice right now. It's getting a little chilly out here. Not quite Arizona weather over here in Virginia. Anyways, for my story, I will go back to September of 2005. I was a young 20-year-old right out of the University of Virginia. I got called up in September. We were flying to San Francisco. Cross-country flight, rookie dress up. Back when you were allowed to dress up rookies and do all that kind of fun stuff. Who knows what you can do nowadays? Gotta love 2020. Anyways, cross-country flight, 20-year-old. Veteran team or an older team, Washington Nationals, guys like Vinny Castilla, Jose Vidro, Levon Hernandez, Brad Wilkerson, Royce Clayton, Nick Johnson and Brian Schneider were kind of the two guys that took care of me, I guess you could say. <clears throat> so we land in San Francisco, stay at one of the hotels where everyone stays there. There's a Carl's Jr. right across the street from the hotel. And uh, you know, we, uh, we get in, we land, I don't know, on the later side, probably around mm -hmm. midnight. By the time you get to the hotel, long drive from the airport, get to the hotel around 12.45. Throughout the flight, the veteran guys thought it'd be a good idea to make a list of their order for Carl's Jr. And the dressed up rookie Ryan Zimmerman had to walk to Carl's Jr. in his dressed up attire and fulfill everyone's order and then take it to their room. So I walk over there first era of 2020. I walk over there with my list in hand. Never been to San Francisco in my life. One o'clock, kind of in the downtown area. I saw some of the most interesting things I've ever seen at that Carl's Jr. I was dressed up and nobody even batted an eye at me. Anyways, I get the food, make my way back up to the hotel rooms, go to the first room, all excited, gonna deliver the food. Person takes the food winds up bang, cheeseburger right to the chest as you can tell this continues for room by room maybe they didn't wind up and throw it i could be exaggerating a little bit for the story but it was kind of more of a get out of here man i don't need any of that you know good old rookie hazing uh continue on for 10 or 12 rooms every veteran does the same thing finally get to the last room and they have like uh you know, one of the older guys had a suite and had a uh, sort of like a party or a get together ready for me and the other rookies and uh, had some drinks. And, uh, you know, one of the cool things I remember about older guys taking care of younger guys and, and breaking them into the big leagues. And, uh, you know, I'll forever be grateful to those old guys who kind of taught me how to be be a professional and, and, you know, mess with the young guys a little bit. But, you know, let them know it's a it's a special fraternity to be in. So, uh Brian Schneider, Nick Johnson, all those guys. Uh, I still keep in touch with all of them, and uh, you know that's a night I'll never forget. But uh, anyways, yeah, since this is the longest catch of all time, and that was probably the longest story of all time, uh, I think we're running out of time to play catch. So I think uh, I'm gonna go do quarantine stuff. You know, I've become a really good cook, so I'll go cook some dinner, and then I'll go back to uh, a little nighttime elementary school teacher. So, you know, just kind of kill some time around here, keep my kids smart, stay safe and stay healthy so this has been great couldn't have thought of a better person to play quarantine catch with especially my first time we'll have to do it again have a great night marky see you buddy